yes uh, good morning students today i am going to talk about the this is the third factor of the storage system okay that is big data okay normally normally big data which uh, which is going to refers to the uh, like multiple data sets okay that multiple data sets so we are going to uh, emerged into the big data okay which is nothing but uh, a, a small small data we are going uh, we are going to club into the one of uh, one of the uh, such a big data okay that data we call it as the big data okay now uh, normally our, our big data sizes or uh, sizes are behind the limit okay uh, to commonly use for the software tools okay here what are the software tools we supposed to use that is uh, um, uh, um, that is nothing but uh, to, uh, to capture the uh, to capture the big data as well as the to store uh, and manage as well as manipulate the big data okay within the acceptable uh, time limits okay uh, like within the durations we have to we have uh, we have to manage or we have to process all those things okay these uh, these tool we call it as a software tools okay software tools i am nothing but to capturing the big data to store the big data as well as manage and manipulate uh, uh, along with that we have to process the big data within the time limits uh, the next topic uh, i told right like one thing before that uh, like uh, started for big data factors uh, i'm going to tell like one of the points that is our big data okay it is going to work like works uh, both structured and unstructured data types okay in previous video i told what is a structured data types and unstructured data types okay again i am going to like uh, recall ever uh, like oh, what is that structured and unstructured data once again that is the the structured data okay whatever the data okay we are going to store that uh, the, yeah, that storage of data we are like we, we have to show it in uh, such a format uh, that that format uh, it may be a pie chart or it may be a spreadsheet or bar chart okay uh, from, uh, from that chart by, by using that chart okay we have to analyze the data or we have to uh, like uh, see the ratio of the data okay how many data we can store okay it may be 10 percent or it may be 50 percent or it may be 100 percent okay this uh, like uh, this type of data we call it as the structured data but unstructured data we cannot show the data element in the form of uh, yeah, in the form of pie chart or it may be a bar chart okay uh, it is very difficult to uh, yeah it is very difficult to querying and retrieving that particular applications or data okay how uh, how how it is very difficult this is one of the question for everyone okay i'll uh, i'll tell one example for uh, yeah for managing the customer contacts okay uh, it is going to store uh, stored in various forms such as uh, yeah it may it may be a email or it may be a notes or it may be business card or or uh, or uh, uh, apart from that okay it may be a like a documents or it may be a text file or it may be a pdf file okay so so that we cannot be able to stored uh, yeah, we cannot store we cannot able to store uh, such a format into the uh, specific uh, uh, structure so, so so that we call it as a this uh, this will be one of the unstructured data then apart from that okay our big data okay it is uh, like uh, it is going to typically requires based on the decision making as well as the real time operations and also analysis based then what is the factors of our big data consisting the factors of big data consisting okay, which is nothing but okay it is going to uh, like uh, collect or, or it is going to store the n number of uh, uh, data from the n number of locations okay that all uh, yeah that all n number of uh, locations or uh, locations of data we are going to generate it in, in 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 one of the new data okay that new data we call it as the metadata the second factor is should be the data collectors okay well like uh, what 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 under data collectors okay it is going to gather the informations from the multiple locations and uh, as well as the multiple devices okay that the, uh, the, that devices are or the um, that data it should be either either from the users or it may be by using the other devices then third one is the data aggregators
the data aggregators okay it is going to compile uh, compile all the all the collected information okay as well as uh, that informations we are going to yes i mean extract the in such a meaningful information then third one is the the data uses as well as the bias okay uh, like oh uh, what and all benefits uh, uh, from the informations collected and uh, the data aggregators by the others data value chain means like the like um, the uh, what is that um, uh, what is that uh, the client as well as the uh, provider means uh, the customer has uh, as well as the uh, provider uh, means uh, like uh, data uh, data provider as well as the data consumers okay they uh, like um, these two are the it's like a chain okay means uh, like first time i'm going to access the data as well as the, i'm going to collect the data okay that i'm going to produces in the such a meaningful format okay like that the next time the another person also okay they can retrieve the data as well as they can analyze the data okay and they will like based on their analysis or based on their usages they yeah they, um, they can expose the data so it should be a data data chain okay uh, like um, every data it should be a meaningful format okay as well as the every data it should uh, uh, it is going to end with the such a value okay then so this is our big data factors then uh, see this is what our um, diagram of our big data means like it is contains all the resources that is our uh, tab mobile phone means like uh, like from i told right the first factor uh, it is going to collect the data from the multiple locations uh, as well as the different users okay the different users uh, here here nothing but uh, i told right uh, it may be a different resources it may be a google or it may be a mobile mobile phone devices or computers or it may be tv okay anything uh, then like multiple locations i told it may be google or it may be youtube or uh, different different locations so that i am like i have uh, i have show it in the uh, figure format and the next one is informations uh, as well as the storage uh, like uh, the, uh, this is the fourth and the fifth factors of our um, uh, storage system of the introduction information see i've told right the information as storage in like in last video the same thing here also uh, the information okay based on the like a uh, knowledge we have to derive from the data then storage okay it is going to store uh, yeah, it is going to store in such a device okay that means uh, uh, that may be i told it may be hard disk or it may be a cd rom okay whatever uh, like uh, so and so like whenever we want we have to computing from it then uh, the one thing is uh, uh, here the next topic is evaluations of storage architecture it's like uh, yeah it, it is a very important uh, uh, evaluation of storage architecture of the our san uh, san subject okay that is say you look at this diagram here uh, like we are going to talk about uh, two uh, two diagrams that is server centric uh, storage architecture as well as the yeah see you look at this as well as the uh, storage device see server centric uh, storage uh, server centric storage architecture and as well as the storage uh, device means which is nothing but information centric storage architecture see you look at this diagram see this is the in information centric storage architecture as well as the server server centric storage architecture see this is the evaluation of storage architecture the evaluation of storage architecture it is going to works based on two things just now i told that is one is server centric storage architecture as well as the information storage centric architecture like when we are going to talk about the server centric uh, storage architecture the each server has a limited number of storage devices and any administrative tasks such as maintenance of the server or increasing the storage capacity might reset in unavailability of the informations to overcome uh, yeah, overcome this uh, problem we are going to introduce the information centric storage architecture 
our information centric uh, storage architecture here the storage devices are managed centrally and dependent of servers see here you look at this diagram here the, the storage center see this is what our storage network okay it is going to uh, manages as well as the okay all the servers it is going to dependent into the this storage network so that uh, uh, so, so that our our storage uh, like uh, our storage device okay it is it, it is basically it should be a centralized managed device okay as well as the independent of the server okay the, the centrally managed of the data center um, infrastructure storage devices are shared with the uh, uh, shared with the multiple servers when a new server is deployed in the environment storage is assigned from the yeah, assigned from the same stored uh, same stored uh, uh, same shared storage device to the server the capacity of the shared storage can be increased dynamically by adding more storage devices without dynamically by adding the more storage device without yeah, without uh, impacting the information availability the information management it is very yeah very cost effective as well as the yeah uh, as well as the it is very easier to manage as the data within the time so this is the one of the evaluation of the storage architecture so the next topic is uh, 